Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Live More Outdoors and checking out my channel, I appreciate it. In this video, I'm gonna to try to quickly cover uh, my homemade uh, catch pole slash dispatch pole. I, I made a dis or a catch pole before and it was just basically a piece of tubing with a uh, clothesline holder in the end. And then I saw some guys using uh, what they call a dispatch pole. And I looked at it and I thought I can make one of those things. And so here's my creation. I'm gonna do basically three things here. I'm gonna show you how the thing works and then I'll disassemble it. I haven't completely sealed everything up yet. Then I'll disassemble it to show you how I built it. And then thirdly, I'll go over what it would cost if you wanna try to build one yourself. It's not that difficult and not really that expensive. I built this for less than what you pay for uh, a decent catch pole, really. So let's check out how the thing works. On this end here, basically got an end cap to PVC, and this I am going to change out. Basically, my cable comes through the middle here, a hole drilled, and I got a, it just loops through here. I'll put an I'll put a stop button on here eventually. Uh, if you don't have stop buttons, you can tie a knot in here if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. Or just wrap it around something. You can just secure the thing. The only thing I don't like about this end here is this is a piece of scrap pipe I had laying around. This is inch and a quarter PVC. And it had a female threaded thing here, so I bought a, uh, or it had a male thread on here, so I bought a female thread. And it, I don't like the way it's working. Like when you turn it on, it twists the cable up and stuff. So I'm just gonna hack this off here. It might be a little bit long right now. It's about five feet long completely, so I might just chop about a half a foot off of it. <coughs> Excuse me, a little sore throat today and just get a regular slip on end cap for it. Come down here to the other end, the actual working mechanism of the thing. It basically can work like a typical catch pull. I can pull this and it tightens up, get the, tightens up the loop around the animal's neck and you could use like a catch pull and you could release the animal if you want. Put the release button here and then we just let that slide back in. If you don't press the release button, that thing isn't sliding in whatsoever. And if you want to dispatch the animal, now this sort of makes sense to me because I watch a lot of uh, MMA fighting and anytime somebody's put it into a chokehold where the blood's cut off from the brain, they either, one of two things happen. They either tap out or they pass out quickly. And basically I think this thing's gonna cut the blood flow off to the brain of the animal. They'll pass out and then they'll eventually succumb. So it'll be a quick pass out and and hopefully completely blood free. No head shots, no lung shots. I mean, no matter where you shoot an animal, you're gonna get some blood. If this works, there'll be <clears throat> no blood on the animal. And basically that's how it's gonna work. I like get it like a typical catch pull. And then this mechanism here, hopefully you can see that sliding out here. is gonna eventually cinch that cable around the animal's neck. And it will cinch hard. <laughs> I had my kid put it on, or I put it around my wrist, not around my neck. I know some people on here would like to see me with this thing around my neck, but uh, had her cinch at a couple times, and it will really put the pressure down on something. And hopefully it's going to work. So now I'm going to disassemble the thing. I don't have all the screws, and I got a few screws out of it already for time purposes. And I'll show you what I use to build it. Uh, just first right here these couple fittings and this different pipe here This is inch like I said inch and a quarter PVC <clears throat> Inch and a half PVC is what you'd want to buy if you want to buy a, a piece to do it Because the inch and a half PVC works really well with a cannibalized caulking gun And that's what I used to do this. So basically I took a caulking gun And I disassembled it a little nut here you spin this thing out right here. That would be the blue piece right on here, the same the same piece. This piece you'll need to save. And then this rod will go away, and this will go away, and the thing that holds the tube of caulking. And let's get mine apart here. I just put screws in here instead of gluing it together. I haven't completely glued everything together anyways yet, but I just got a few little screws in there. This is that one of the parts of the caulking gun. There's different types. This is an end cap, the Schedule 40 inch and a half PVC. You can get, there's two different types of end caps that I've seen. Some of them have a really rounded end here. Don't get those. Find the ones that have a nice flat end on them. 
and that really helps this thing, this part of the caulking gun, seed down. If you have the really round one, you won't even be able to hit these threads right here. I'm gonna slide this out. So basically, I took and just started messing around with this thing. I took this caulking gun, an old caulking gun, here's my replacement, and I cut this top part off, and then these two little nubs right here, there's one here, and then one on this side, at least the one I purchased and the old one I had, they both had them, so I cut this part off. I didn't go completely down because I thought it might screw with the uh, structural integrity of the caulking gun. So I left that up there. I know it's going to put an end cap. I notched out my pipe, inch and a half pipe right here and underneath so that it would slide right over there and it seeds right against that. It makes a pretty nice fit really. And puts right, and the butt of the caulking gun sets right into there. Now this is about uh, this is about a half inch wide by about three inches deep. I mean, you, your caulking gun, if you get a caulking gun, it might be different. So I'm not going to do really specific. This is about four inches maybe and about an inch wide. Then I had to notch this cap piece so that it would slide over here nicely. And I had to put a little V there so the caulking handle mechanism would work freely. It slides on there. I had to drill a one inch hole. So this part of the caulking gun would slide into there and re-thread into there. And then a couple screws go right in here. This is a piece of 5 16th inch by 3 foot long. Uh, just stock steel. Take my end cap off the other end so I can pull the cable through. I don't know if I said this before, but this cable I just had laying around. If you had to buy a piece of cable, it'd be really inexpensive. This is like, I think it's like about a sixteenth of an inch. Hopefully, I'm, I don't know if it's going to kink up quicker than eighth inch. I used eighth or three sixteenths on the old catch ball I did, and it, it's all kinked up. So if this kinks up after the first animal, I'll try a different type of cable. I got other cable laying around here. I thought I'd try this thin stuff first. Basically, I have a half of a chain link welded on here so I can attach my cable and cut it off quickly if I want to replace it. And here I just had a, this was off of a washing machine or something for my handle to grab a hold of and pull and I welded a hunk of metal on the end here. So, I mean, if you don't have a welder, you could bend the handle here and it might be difficult to, I don't know, there's, you could probably use a pipe clamp or something to attach a piece of cable here. If you don't have a welder so the welder is the basically the only like uh, non-typical tool that I use I had I used a screwdriver to put my screws in and I used the hacksaw to cut all this stuff out and I, if I already mentioned this I apologize about getting the flat I think I already did but make sure you get the flat uh, slip on caps here end caps for the PVC now what would all this cost to make uh, I actually have my receipt from Lowe's for some of this stuff. Whether or not this gets picked up in here, I get 10% discount, military discount. If you, if you're a veteran, little tip: if you go into my Lowe's, if you've never done it, you go into my Lowe's, fill out a couple things, and you get 10% off everything. So this was like my cost. I'm not sure. It wouldn't be much more than this. So uh, the uh, five sixteenths rod was four dollars and four cents. The caulking gun was $13.03, so there you're it's about $17. The end caps were a buck sixty. So two of those you're at about twenty dollars right there. And then I know I didn't buy the uh, the whole length of pipe because I'd scrap stuff around, but I looked a uh, five foot hunk of pipe at inch and a half is less than five dollars. I think it's like four dollars and fifty cents. But if I was buying it, I would get a 10 foot hunk. A 10 foot hunk is only like 650. It's like another buck or something. And I'd cut it in half and have two pieces. So all this stuff you get for about 25 bucks to make one of these. That's minus, I mean, a hunk of cable. If you have to buy a hunk of cable, you might have, you'd be pressed to, to spend more than $30. And with a little bit of time, I mean, it took me a little bit longer. I've never made one of these, but if, it doesn't take that long to make one. 
Oh yeah, I guess other, I said I only used the hacksaw. I did use a drill to drill the one inch hole here. One inch hole works pretty good here, so. And that's about it. So, if you were ever thinking about making, or not making, but uh, wanting to use a dispatch pull. And you don't mind tinkering around. Then goes together pretty quickly. Bam, back together. Screw that in, and I'm done. It's ready to go. So, trap season starts here pretty soon, but I'm not going to have any traps in the ground till at least November. I'm going to wait. It's going to be tough, but I'm going to wait for a while. So, I get this thing out of the line. If it works, I'll let you know it works. And if it doesn't work, I'll say, well, that was a waste of time, and I'll put my caulking gun back together, and I'll have two caulking guns. So, it seems like it's going to work. So, I uh, hope everyone has a great season. And be safe out there and just, more importantly, just get out there and enjoy your time outdoors and enjoy time with family. I appreciate you checking out my channel. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you really like it, hit the subscribe button. So, oh yeah, and the little bell that pops up, if you hit that, you get an alert anytime I post a new video. Once again, thanks for watching and hope everyone has a great season.